How you guys doing? Welcome to another Wednesday video. Today I have a very special guest. It's one of the most dominant players, is one of the most amazing players. So good in fact that he is the winner of the Challenger tournament. Mr. Life Coach, how you doing? Hey, how are you doing guys? Oh, um, so first of all, let me say congratulations on your victory. You play fantastic. I uh, was watching the stream. I'm sure a lot of people was watching the stream and they saw you play. Um, let's just start with a little bit about yourself. What can you tell us about yourself? How did your love for card games start? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I, um, yeah, I'm playing Gwent now, and it's, uh, I mean, for all of you who pay paid uh, attention or following my stream, they know that I have been looking for a very competitive and um, challenging card game for a while, and yeah, Gwent it is. Oh. What, what is it that attracted is, attracts you to Gwent? What, what difference went from a different card game? Um, yeah, I mean, it's very skill heavy. You have to think about decisions, and those decisions really, really matter. Indeed. Um, as far as the meta goes, and like the difference from tournament play, what do you prefer, the latter or the tournament play? I'm pretty sure everybody knows this, the choice, but. Oh, yeah, the, the, the tournament play, of course. Yeah, that's really awesome. And I really hope that they will adjust the ladder. Um, so that it will kind of be also um, benefiting a lot of factions. So at the moment, the uh, letter play benefits specifically if you play one faction. And I would really love to see um, to be benefited if you really are able to play all factions very well. Which is your favorite card and your favorite faction? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess at the very moment, all factions are very nice. and. Favorite card? I, I don't really have one. I just love the game very much and all the mechanics behind it and the general lore behind it as well. And in Gwent, it's also the case that you can pretty much nearly play all of the cards. So it's it's not that there are, uh, you have these cards, they are great, and those cards, they are complete rubbish. I mean, there are some of them too, but most of the cards are just awesome. Awesomely designed and also looking awesome. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Gwent is one of the best artworks that I've seen, especially in my personal opinion. I love the style, I love how it plays, I love how it feels. Um, especially, I really enjoy the fact that you play your entire hand and it kind of escapes away from aggro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if the, you brought Vest into the tournament, and that is yes. one of the cards that everybody was amazed. Everybody was like, oh my god, that is Vest, and everything. Could you care to explain the viewers why you chose Vest over other other cards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vest is a really good card, uh, specifically tagged against Northern Rams, but also in general it's pretty strong. And uh, Vest specifically against Northern Rams because they don't have big uh, stat removal. And my strategy was usually that I played uh, the first two rounds quite quickly, like relatively short rounds. And Vess is exactly providing that. So you play Vess, you can explode your stats and maybe even force your opponent to pass round one. But if he does do so, you can just pass pass or pass he plays something, turn around two. And then round three you have access to all your resources and that's just awesome, that's just amazing. Because then you can play your curve and you can actually also um, get your exponential curve going. Indeed. I, I actually believe that this is one of those very uh, underlooked or diminished cards, but it has a huge potential. Thank you for showing that on the tournament. Everybody had a blast. Um, now, on Gwent, it's very important to keep composure. It's very important to practice, to always be professional about it in a way. Uh, what can you tell to new viewers or new players for Went that might be experienced Went for the first time? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, as the developers also set it up, it's pretty awesome to play, but also pretty awesome to begin with it. So if you begin with it, you get some cards and you actually can play real decks and you play those decks at the beginning casually. but. Playing those decks uh, give you a lot of cards uh, very quickly and then you can build more competitive and more competitive decks quite quickly as also rising in the playing strengths because here again it's also a lot of um, diminish, uh, not diminishing uh, better returns but kind of so the more you practice the less higher your um, 
your increase of playing strength will be, of course. So you will have a very, very uh, good experience, specifically at the beginning, understanding the game, not making these major, major blunders, and will also improve very quickly. So give the game at least three days. I don't know how much you play, but let's say three games of three hours, and after roughly 10 hours of playtime, you should be into the game, understand the core mechanics, and also understand why it's awesome. You guys, if you are seeing this this video for the first time, please give Gwent a chance. It's a game that I'm telling you is gonna stick with your heart. It's uh, very passionate about this game, and I hope that you will be as well. Um, on your tournament play, is there any specific matchup that you remember or that you were very worried about? No, not specifically. No specific. Okay. Yeah. So you you felt very confident in every single um, in every single aspect of the matchups. Um, well, I mean, actually, my lineup is built against Hensel. Yeah. So um, I would have felt much more comfortable if my opponents would have brought Hensel because against this deck, I know I have very very high win percentages with with all of my decks. So that would have made me definitely way more comfortable knowing my opponent plays Hanseld and as long as I don't lose against Hanseld, being even more comfortable. Uh, but it didn't happen, so that worried me a little bit because obviously, I mean, uh, having a lineup tacked against Hanseld, they don't bring Hanseld, that's kind of not good, that's even bad. Um, but at the same time, during the games itself, it didn't feel like I would get outclassed or something. So. Um, during the matches and specifically usually winning the first match or the first game, maybe also the second game, uh, it felt more and more comfortable, even um, playing against decks which I didn't really want to face specifically. Indeed, uh, you, you, kept, you kept a fantastic composure, you always were very smart about your plays. Um, is there something that you would like to say to people who actually criticize you for roping? Um, I mean, honestly, I mean, there's always this um, fairy tale of a lot of people criticizing me for roping a lot. I mean, there are some trolls, but you have them everywhere. And if somebody really criticizes somebody who's taking his time in order to get a better result, well, usually, let's say they are not hmm, maybe the most clever people, right? So. Um, what I, but, but the thing is that they're trying to be the loudest, yeah, because obviously usually not many people uh, liberally want to listen to them. What I'm simply saying is I don't, I don't feel that way. I don't feel that there are many people expressing their um, concerns about this, rather the opposite. Yeah? People are rather getting um, inspired by that, saying, hey, Actually, uh, it's actually it might actually be a good idea to make use of your time you've got in order to increase your playing strength. If you play casually, maybe um, you don't want to do that because you just want to have a little bit of fun and maybe also have more game progression. But once it becomes competitive, I mean, there is there's literally really really no reason not to take your time. Uh, and maybe you come to the conclusions faster than just play faster. But there are also other people who want to think very, very thoroughly through everything. And those people should just take all the time which um, they have accessible, of course. That is an awesome answer. And yes, indeed, um, whenever whenever you are playing a card game, specifically as when, that is so punishable, and you have to play very, very smart, I think that every second matters. Every single second that you can take to make the right decision is extremely important and extremely valuable to the to you as a player and to the game, the progress. Um, once again, everybody loves Went. You love Went. I love Went. What would you like to see Went to be improved on, or what would you like to see Went to change on a positive level? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the CDPR project guys are doing a really awesome uh, job there um, with balancing with progression with also incorporating user feedback. So there's really no, nothing specifically. I talked with them already about that and there are some points um, I told them which might uh, be a good idea to improve. One thing, for example, what we basically talked about earlier is the ladder 
system that at the moment it benefits one specific class being played and we are already in talks how that might become changed but i'm really looking forward to uh, good solutions for sure oh thank you so much now uh, you have your Twitter, you have your Twitch, everything. Uh, where can people find you? Um, yeah, I mean, where they always find me on Twitch, on LifeCoach1981 and on Twitter, on the same. Or oh, also make sure you guys check him out. He's a great player. I'm, I don't have to tell you this. He is the winner. He's the champion. Once again, congratulations on your victory. And thank you so much for your time, Life Coach. I really appreciate your time. And I hope to see you on future tournaments. Thank you so much for being here with us. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much for the interview and have a very nice day.